Hello, and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank, and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Teams, but we're going to look at extending the capabilities of Microsoft Teams by using apps. Apps provided by Microsoft, third parties, or even custom apps that we write ourselves. Now, Microsoft Teams as a collaboration platform is already fantastic just as it is, but it doesn't necessarily meet the needs of every single niche or organization out there. Well, we can change that. We can change that by adding functionality to Microsoft Teams that meets our particular market area or our particular organizational needs, whatever that might be. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to get more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll be making more videos on specific apps that I use for learning and technology in an educational environment or an organizational environment. Those apps that I find add a certain uh, level of functionality that's specific to, say, a classroom setting. But for this video, I'm going to concentrate on showing you where the apps are, showing you how I can explore those apps, and showing, how I can, showing you how I can enable those apps within the Teams environment. It's really quite cool, actually, and I think you're going to enjoy this. Let's go have a look at apps in Microsoft Teams. I have Teams open, and what I'm going to do is down below here in the corner, you'll see a little icon that says Apps. When I click on that icon, you'll see a large list of all the different apps that are available for Microsoft Teams. And you'll notice that I can also search by an individual app if I know the name of it, or I can search by some of the different uh, functions that I may wish to perform. So obviously for myself, education is near and dear to my heart, and you can see a lot of different apps developed by different uh, developers that relate to education. You know, scroll down, it's actually quite a long list. But if I go in, for example, <clears throat> I might not understand all of these apps. I might not be familiar with them all. There are some that I am familiar with, and I'll make videos subsequently on that. But let's say I go into Prezi. So Prezi is a very popular tool that we use. Notice when I click on that app, it's going to give me a little uh, video that's going to explain what Prezi is and give me some information on collaborating using Prezi. Uh, gives me some information on what it is. I can get started. Now, it is important to note, not all apps are free. Some of these are really just connectors into your uh, existing Prezi account, for example. I can go ahead and add that account in there. And when I add it in, I, I don't currently have a Prezi account, so it's gonna go and add it in. And you'll note, welcome to Prezi, talks about the video, I can take a tour. And then if I sign up for a Prezi account, then my assumption there is I can do more. But if I go back to my, to my bar here, you'll notice that Prezi video now appears on my list here. And if I drop down the ellipse, you can see that there's a number of other apps here. For example, I do like to use Yammer to create a community. So I have an, another video where I talk about Yammer communities for my environment. Um, if I go in here, and this is from my other video. So, you know, we always have to have a cat on the internet. Wouldn't be the internet without a cat. Uh, and if I drop down here, I can go into, for example, uh, it's nice to have a stream where I can store all of my meeting recordings in one, one place there. And you can see what happens is it starts putting those apps along the, the side here. And, and you can see that it's only got a few in there. But if I drop it down, I can find whichever one I want. So I can go back to, to Prezi here. I can also go into my Teams here. And when I'm within my team, notice I'm in my general channel here. If I go down here, you'll notice that I actually have, when I hover on this, I have Prezi video here. So I actually have... Uh, the app now down below here that's part of this channel because I've put it into my Teams environment. And if I hit the ellipse, you can see, for example, I can put Power BI on there for analytics. So I have to sign into Power BI. So I do have a Power BI account. I'm not going to sign in right now, but if I have a number of analytical dashboards, I can actually have those as part of my team environment. Once again, I'm not going through the individual apps and explaining them. What I wanted to show you here is that you can find apps by clicking this little button. You can use the add function or read the description of the app to see exactly how it works within the Teams environment, whether you need an external account, whether it adds a search function, whether it actually just embeds a, a video or something. And, if, and then the, those apps will now appear as part of your environment here. 
any apps that you may have used. So a good example is a weather app. What's the weather like out there as we're all locked inside? I'm in my basement, so it's really hot outside. It's pretty nice down here. Uh, YouTube, obviously near and dear to my heart because I make videos on YouTube. So I could have a repository. Let's say I'm doing a, a community of practice and I have uh, videos on how to use Teams in an academic setting. Maybe that's a useful thing to create a little video channel. And if you go across here as well, if I hit the plus bar here, you'll notice if I, if I take a look here, I can add apps in here as well. Ones that I've worked with, I could put, for example, a wiki in there or a document library. So I can pop in a document library and link it in. You can see that I've got some sample ones that I've done from previous demonstrations that I've done. So it sees, uh, you know, save the world project. I can link that in there. And I can put a document library in there. I'll do the documents from the Save the World project. I'll just call it Save the World. Save the World document library. And now here in my Justice League headquarters channel, I've created a tab here that links back to the document library for Save the World. So that I can link different teams together so they can share a common document library. Uh, once again, I'll do some demos on some specific uh, use cases for, for apps. But there you go. That's how simple it is to have the apps put into your Teams environment and extend that functionality out. So there you saw how I could use apps in Microsoft Teams to really extend that functionality of the of the platform. It's It's pretty pretty interesting and you can get really carried away exploring all of the different apps that are available to you but it's it can be intimidating because there's so many but what you can also do is just say you know what I'm just gonna add one app get comfortable with it add a second app get comfortable with it so on and so forth I will say that it is pretty important when you're adding these apps to your environment that you don't add too many at once because you have to remember your audience has to be familiar with how to use these tools in order for them to be effective so like many things, you can't just click enable everything and then all of a sudden expect people to know how to use everything. You actually may wind up causing confusion when you're really trying to cause clarity and collaboration. But that's a subject of some other videos where I'll talk about those apps that I think are the most important for say a classroom environment. I'm glad that you watched this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Hit like, subscribe for more, and I have some other videos on this channel that might interest you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.